A Caitlin Clark, a graduate of a Catholic high school in Iowa, was the number one overall pick in last night's women's professional basketball draft. <laughs> The former star at the University of Iowa became a household name of basketball fans during her record-breaking college career, Clark said after the draft last night that she had been dreaming of the moment since she was in second grade. And we turn now to someone who has known Caitlin Clark for many years, her former coach at Dowling Catholic High School in Des Moines, Iowa, Kristen Meyer. Kristen, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, so when you were coaching Caitlin in high school, did you ever think that she would be this accomplished in her basketball career? And what's it been like for you uh, to see her set records in college and appear on TV and commercials? And of course, now as the number one draft pick in the WNBA. You know, I always expected her to be successful in college. She is a tremendous basketball player, and we saw that throughout her high school year. So I'm not all surprised, to, all that surprised to see the success that she's had. And, you know, she scores a lot. She helps her team win. Uh, but the fame and the notoriety is something that I would have never predicted. And what kind of impact um, has she had on the community? I, I know recently that many people uh, from Downley Catholic said that they would attend the games at the University of Iowa. What's it mean to them to see her in this position? Oh, I think people across the country just love watching her play, and obviously people in Iowa and here around Dowling Catholic in West Des Moines, you know, we have a, a little special connection. So, um, you know, we've probably been watching a little bit closer, supporting her a little bit more and a little bit longer than a lot of people. But we're just so proud of her accomplishments, but also how she carries herself as a person. Well, she's a great leader, a great teammate, and, and she's really making a positive impact on not just the sports world, but I think the world in general. Yeah, and you can tell that just by watching her, her demeanor. He, she seems very humble as well. Tell us a little bit more about her and maybe her family and how important their Catholic faith is to them. Yeah, well, the main reason she came to Dowling Catholic High School is because of the faith component. And Caitlin's mom, Anne, uh, who is Anne Nizzi, she went to Dowling Catholic along with Caitlin's aunts and uncles on her mom's side. And her grandpa Nizzi, Bob Nizzi, was a football coach uh, and a teacher, or he might have been a counselor here at Dowling Catholic for a number of years. And so the main reason that her family, you know, was involved in Dowling Catholic was because of the faith component. Um, and so Caitlin was always going to go to Dowling Catholic and, and really enjoyed her, her four years here. Yeah, so beautiful. And as we mentioned, uh, Caitlin said last night that she had dreamed uh, of this moment since she was in second grade. Um, did you know that she wanted to play professional basketball? You know, she didn't really talk about it a lot, but uh, her skill set definitely made me think that it was possible. And she's always been one who's kind of focused on the, the here and now. So I think she had those long-term goals, but she just wanted to every day maximize her potential and her time and her efforts. And so she just focused on getting better every single day. And, and some of the opportunities then that have come is because she's really just focused on the here and now. Yeah, and, and as a high school coach, for those maybe young ladies um, out there, athletes who have possibly the same dream as Caitlin, um, anything that you could offer them as far as advice? Yeah, I think work for what you want to accomplish. You know, earn the right to be successful is, is the main thing. Uh, surround yourself with people who will help you reach those goals. And Caitlin talks a lot about the confidence that she has in herself. That's an earned confidence. So I think if you really want to excel in, in whether it's sports or music or drama or, or anything, put in the work to earn the right to be confident and then go give it your best shot. And uh, before I let you go, I just quickly want to ask you this. Um, Caitlin seems very bold in her faith. Can you talk to us about how, even with the other athletes that you coach, how important is it to have that connection? Yeah, obviously we're a little bit lucky at Dowling Catholic to get to talk about our faith and, you know, go to the chapel and, and attend mass. Uh, so it's a little bit easier to do. But I think Caitlin is a type of person who it's always been important for her to maximize her God-given talents and to share those with the world. She knows that that her, her some of her gifts from God are not only her athleticism, but her ability to entertain. And so I think she really just tries to maximize those gifts and share those with the world through the sport of basketball. Yeah, and it's so wonderful to see. Kristen, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you so much.